Okay. Yeah, I'm concerned about it. No, we're just going to get around. Good. Yeah, we got one. You got three of them. This scares me younger. Well, actually, we have one. Yeah. So, where the lions meet, just downstairs, just look up. Yeah. Okay, so this is the. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome everybody to the official groundbreaking for the Madrona Park improvements. Um, we'll be adding a walking trail and an arboretum to this park. Uh, this parcel came into being as this neighborhood was built. It was originally a stormwater detention area, and it still serves that function, but we realized very early on that uh, it had other possibilities. So we, uh, we put in place a park master plan around 2008 that included three big projects. The first one was the fountain in the downtown park. That's done. This is the second one. Um, we will be following up this up with an amphitheater in another year or two. Um, this, this park, when it's all done, is going to have an eight foot wide paved perimeter walking trail, uh, about almost a half a mile, 0.45 miles total length. There, the Arboretum will have 90 new trees. There will be a native plant garden with more than 1,200 plants. Winding through that uh, amphitheater, or the, the uh, arboretum, will be nature trails with interpretive signage in that native plant garden. There will be some irrigated recreation fields in this area straight behind my city council members. Um, we finally will have permanent restrooms in this park. Yay! Yay. <laughs> there will be improved pedestrian as, uh, access to the park and playground improvements. Now, that does not come cheap, obviously. The total project cost for this project is $620,000. But Oregon State Parks stepped up and presented us first with a recreational trails grant for $62,500, and then a local government grant for $350,000. Not quite enough. So the Monmouth Garden Club stepped up with a donation of $10,000. And it is with great pleasure that I accept the giant check with the giant number on it. <laughs> Stay here. Monmouth Power and Light. Now, one of the functions of this arboretum is going to be to showcase trees that are power line friendly. Um, they decided that it was worth a $10,000 grant for this project to make that happen, Scott. And that's another giant check with a giant number on it. The uh, Independence Elks Club is putting forward $2,000 for soccer goals for the recreational field. Do we have representatives of the Elks Club here? So this is a little check with a giant number on it. And then Madeline Fisher, is Madeline here? Yep. Madeline is dollars for, okay, well come on up anyway. $50 for the native plant garden. When you have a project like this, you have a park's master plan, and it's a pretty picture of what you'd like it to look like. But as far as really getting it nailed down, uh, Cameron McCarthy, Cameron McCarthy representative here, right here. Okay, come on and join the party. <laughs> These folks did the design, and they'll also be doing construction management for us. And Bill Weissman, is Bill here? No, Bill's not here today. Okay. Bill was our grant writer, and he's the one who helped us secure that local government grant for the lion's share of the cost of this project. Um, we also want to thank some partners for their support in this, the Monmouth Garden Club, Monmouth Power and Light, the Senior Center, Western Oregon University's Biology and Athletic Departments, Central Youth Sports, Monmouth Independence YMCA, Polk County Public Health, Central School District 13J, Boy Scout Troop 38, and the Monmouth Tree Advisory Board. I want to extend personal thanks to the council members. Uh, th this is five of our current six in the back row here. They work very hard to uh, work through things like the master plan and making all this come to fruition. The Parks and Rec Board has uh, been a strong presence in guiding all of this forward. Russ Cooper at Public Works with the camera in the air in the back row. We have 
have absolutely pounded Public Works for the last, what, five years, I guess, with project after project after project. And Craig Johns kept it going, and when he stepped aside, Russ stepped right in and has kept these things going. We're not done with him yet, but uh, we really appreciate what Public Works does for us. And then there was one last guiding hand behind all of this, with, without whom I'm confident we wouldn't be standing here today, and that's Mark Fancy. Mark has done a marvelous job on all of this part of Mark, come on up. This is your baby, this part. Come on up. Okay? And we, we really do uh, appreciate Mark's efforts on this. I'm looking forward to watching this park develop. And our timeline is we will be done in? End of October. End of October. So stop by frequently and check it out. Watch the progress. This is going to be an exciting project. This park is a little over 10 acres, and it will be Monmouth's biggest developed park when it's done, and I'm looking forward to it. Council, anybody want to add anything? Could, could we have the Parks and Rec Board identify themselves? Yeah, I, I was, how many Parks and Rec Board people are here? Come on up. We might as well get everybody who's here. And the Tree Board. Our tree board. Tree tree board. board. Come on up. Please come up. Because We're going to empty the crowd and put all of us up here in front. They bring us stuff that we go So with that, I'm going to ask council to join me and we officially will move some dirt. They don't trust us with native soil apparently, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. Come on over, council. Where's the power tool? <laughs> right here, right here. Right here. Right here.